Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.4. We're doing here a preview of what's to come with this new update which should be here in spring this year. We're currently on the beta of iOS 18.3 but as you probably know that's actually a very small update and it doesn't bring any big new features and changes to your iPhone. But the big update here for iOS 18 will be iOS 18.4 with a ton of big new features planned for this update and we know about a few of them so in today's video we're doing a preview of those features so you know what to expect and of course also about the release date when to expect the first beta and the public release of iOS 18.4 to come to your device. Now first off, we're having new emojis released with iOS 18.4. So a new pack of emojis is planned to come to iOS in spring and it will come out with iOS 18.4. And here we have a few of those emojis that you will be getting on your device with iOS 18.4. So we have this like smiley right there with bags underneath the eyes, a finger, a fingerprint right there, shovel. We have a few other things. Of course, these are just a few of the new emojis that are coming with iOS 18.4 to your iPhone. So expect, of course, a lot more emojis to come to your device. New changes are also coming to the Playground app. If you have a device and you have the Apple intelligence features, you know that when you go to the Playground app and you actually create an image here, you will have the chance to actually change the style of that image right here. So if you just have created an image and you tap the plus button, you will have here animation and illustration as well. These are the two different styles which you can choose right now on Image Playground. While if you actually do the same on the Notes app, you will also have the sketch right here. So the sketch style will be one of the options. So there you have three options. He will have only two. Well, you can expect that option to come to the Image Playground app as well, of course, with the release of the new iOS 18.4. Now, one amazing new feature that we have talked about previously is the new battery intelligence feature that actually has been spotted on the code of iOS 18.2, but it didn't make it to iOS 18.2 and it even didn't make it to iOS 18.3, even though when Apple didn't release this feature with 18.2, I basically knew that it won't be a part of iOS 18.3 because that's a much smaller update. So expect this feature also to come to your device with iOS 18.4. Now, of course, all of the features I talked about previously and some other ones that we're going to talk about in a second here are features that we know that have been confirmed to come with iOS 18.4. This one is not confirmed, but of course, as I said, it has been spotted on the code of iOS 18.2 and we're hoping that it will be out with 18.4. Now, if you don't know about this feature, this is basically a new feature that allows us to see how much time is remaining until the battery of your iPhone charges fully. Now you will see something like this on your lock screen displaying the minutes, maybe even hours left until your device is fully charged. That may be to 100% or to any charge limit that you might have set on your iPhone. If you have used the slider on the settings app, which allows you to just adjust the amount of charge you want on your iPhone, then of course it will display the minutes it will require to actually just charge your iPhone to that point. Another new feature coming to your device with iOS 18.4 will be priority notifications. Well, priority notifications will be notifications that will actually show at the top of the stack right here on the notification center. So you can see on each of these things here, on each of these apps, I have a few different notifications. Let's say here on Instagram, I'm, I have four currently. The top one, basically the priority one, will be here at the top of the stack, of course, letting you know that you have a priority notification, which will also be summarized. That way you can see that notification quicker and, of course, even read it and see much, much faster what it is all about. And the big new feature of iOS 18.4 will be, of course, the totally new Siri. What Apple has talked about before, 
the Siri, what we call 2.0, should be the big new feature of iOS 18.4. And of course, this will be part of the Apple intelligence features, but it will basically be much, much better than the Siri we have currently on our devices. So it will have a bunch of cool new features like the on-screen awareness. So when you just launch Siri, whatever you're doing on your device, it knows what you're actually doing. So it will be able to take actions based on the screen you're at. Also, in-app actions will be another thing, another basically amazing thing that Apple is bringing to iOS 18.4 with the new Siri, allowing you to perform actions within your apps. So even without being on the app, you can just ask Siri to do something within that app. And that will also work with third party apps as well, which is amazing. And also another great new feature of Siri 2.0 is the personal context knowledge. So it basically will learn about you, will know everything about you and will do things based on the knowledge that it has from you. So it will actually be totally different from the Siri we have currently on our devices. And that is expected to actually be the biggest new feature of the new iOS 18.4. So these are some of the new features that we know are coming to iOS 18 with the iOS 18.4 update. But when can we expect this update to come out for our devices? Now, first of all, of course, this update will have to go through the beta stages and it should go quite a few beta stages until they release it to the public because this might be the biggest update to iOS 18 since its release. So what we have here currently, we have the third beta of iOS 18.3, which was released actually a couple of days ago. Now you can expect uh, this beta actually to continue the next week. And then most likely on the 27th of January, we will have the RC version of iOS 18.3. And on the third, most likely will be the date that Apple releases iOS 18.3 to the public. Well, if that goes like that, and I'm talking here based on the build number of the last beta, so we should have another beta than the RC and then the public release right here, then you can expect that same week, basically the first week of February to be the date that Apple will release the first dev beta of iOS 18.4. Now, if that happens, most likely it will. If it doesn't happen on the 4th, it will happen on the 10th of or 11th of February. Those are the dates that I'm expecting Apple to release the first beta. And then most likely it will go through at least, in my opinion, at least five betas, maybe even six before Apple releases to the public. So right here on February, if it goes as planned and it will be released on the 4th, you can expect maybe the second beta to come a couple of weeks after, so on the 18th, and then right here on the 24th or 25th, the, fir the third beta, 4th, 5th, right here, maybe we have a sixth one or not, and then the RC should be right here somewhere by the end of March and you can expect it to ba basically come out most likely on the last week of March or first week of April. These are the dates that I think Apple will aim for when it comes to releasing iOS 18.4 to the public. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and of course if you want to be updated with the latest iOS news. Hope you guys enjoyed the video again and found it helpful. I will see you guys on the next one.